Okay, this is another in a series of videos I'm making for my site, pfsensesetup.com. This is uh, another in a series of instructional videos that I'm creating to show you how to do some basic things using the PFSense firewall. And in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use, how to enforce rules during certain times and not other times uh, using the PFSense scheduling options. Um, and the scenario is something like this. You have, a, let's say you have a, a company and you have certain websites blocked during work hours, but you may want to allow access to those sites during certain times, for example, maybe lunch hour, or maybe you don't want to enforce the rules at all during non-work hours. Say, you know, let's assume you only want to enforce the rules from say nine to five and you you want to allow access at other times so you can use the pfsense scheduling option to make that happen so let's demonstrate how you can do this uh, first we're going to, to log into the fire pfsense firewall so we're going to type in uh, the username and password and we're going to click on login and uh this takes us to the dash, dashboard. And before we get started, let's go to firewall rules. So I'm going to click on rules here. And we'll click on the land tab. And notice that we have the block slash dot rule that I created in a video a few days ago. Um, it's disabled, but we can re enable this. And. Um, we we want let's assume for purposes of this video that we want to allow access to slash dot during the lunch hour which is noon to 1 p.m but not at other times so first we're going to go to firewall and we're going to select schedule so i'm going to click on schedules and notice there's a table here three fields name time range and description but there's nothing in the table so we're going to have to create an entry so on the right of the table, there's there's a plus sign, so I'm going to click on that to add a new schedule. And we need to give the schedule a name, so I'm going to call this lunch hour. And description, the employee lunch hour. And then that, that covers schedule name and description. There's also a field here for month. And... There's a, a calendar here, and it says at the bottom here, click individual date to select that date only. So, for example, we can select uh, the 15th, and that will make the rule only apply on July 15th. But we want to make it apply to all uh, weekdays, I guess. We don't need to enforce, uh, enforce this rule on uh, Saturday and Sunday. So just click the appropriate weekday header to select all occurrences that weekday. So let's... Let's uh, select Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So I clicked on the Monday, Monday at the top of the of the calendar here, and then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And you'll notice that if you go to another month here, that all occurrences of Monday through Friday in the future are also blocked out. So this will apply to all weekdays uh, in for uh for future months as well um so now we have time we need to select a time so we want it to select uh noon to 1 p.m so i'm going to select 12 hours zero minutes this is military time so for the end stop time i'm going to select uh 13 hours zero minutes and then for the time range description i'm going to say lunch hour and I'm gonna call it, uh, noon to 1 p.m. and I'm gonna click on add time here and now it looks like it's been added to the schedule so I'm gonna click on save and it looks like we successfully added an entry to the table called lunch hour now we're going to go back to firewall and 
we have our rules here. So we're gonna, I'm going to go down to rules and click on rules. We're going to go back to the land tab. So I'm going to click on the land tab. And we have block slash dot rule. Now, the one problem is that we can, you know, if if we we can enforce the scheduling option during the time that we define. So th there's what we need to do at this point is we need to create a new rule to allow access to slash dot during the lunch hour. We can't just uh, make it so that this rule is disabled during during the uh, lunch hour, even though that, that would be the more convenient way of doing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new rule here. Um, actually, first we, we should re-enable the, the block slash dot rule. So let's let's go click on edit here. Um, and I'm going to uh, uncheck the disabled uh, checkbox. So, so this uh, will re-enable the block slash dot rule. And now if we click on apply changes here, uh, slash dot will be will be blocked, but we I won't click on apply changes yet. Um, so I want to create a duplicate rule now so that we can allow access to slash dot. So I'm going to click on plus, and I'm going to click on the plus the add add new rule based on this one uh, option to the right of the of the entry for block slash dot rule, and this will create a, a a new rule and populate the fields with with the options that we had for the block slash dot rule. So what we're going to do here, and and just to just to review what we did the other day, we set this to to block slash dot. So we so we had action was block, and the interface was land interface. Um, as the source, we chose land net. So so anyone going out over. The land net to slash dot would would be blocked. Its destination was the IP address of of slash dot, um, and the destination port range was port eighty HTTP, and that was that that enabled us to block slash dot completely. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the action to pass. So this will this will allow. Uh, attempts to connect to slash dot to to pass through the firewall um, and since we only want to allow access to slash dot during lunch hour I'm going to have to scroll down here to schedule and we're going to click on advanced to show the advanced option and it says leave is none to leave the rule enable at all time we want to only enforce it during lunch hour so I'm going to select lunch hour on the drop down box here and I'm going to save the rule. Actually, we should we need we should change the description here too. So let me just do that as well. Otherwise, uh, we could get confused. Um, the description is block slash dot rule. I'm going to change that to the allow slash dot during lunch hour rule. And I'll click on save. Okay, now now are we is everything okay? No, because as you may recall, firewall rules are evaluated from the top from the top down. So the first rule to match the traffic will is the rule that's going to be enforced. So as as is set up now we're it will see the block slash dot rule and even during lunch hour it will still block slash dot so it will see this rule and it will enforce this rule so what we need to do is we need to enforce this rule before the move it up before the allow slash dot during lunch hour rule um so what we need to do is we need to check this rule the checkbox on the on the left side here and there's an option here on the right side, move selected rules before this rule. So we're going to click on the the move selected rules before this rule button next to the block slash dot rule. 
and that will move the allow slash dot rule above the block slash dot rule. So now everything is as it should be. Um, so let's see. Uh, so let's click on apply changes now. So that will that will force the firewall rules to reload. And now we should have slash dot blocked at all times except during lunch hour on weekdays. So let's just confirm that slash dot is blocked. So let me click on uh, slash dot dot org here. And okay, it looks like slash dot is blocked, which is as it should be because yeah, the, the, currently it's 2.50 p.m. So it's not lunch hour. Now we can change the rule, change the rule here. Go back to firewall and click on schedules here. We could change it so that lunch hour is 12 to 3 p.m. Let's assume we have a long lunch hour here. So we're going to change that to, let's see, um, start to, okay, this is interesting. Let me just go back here again. Um, we'll do edit and uh, yeah, lunch hour is okay. We'll edit this. Okay, you see what I did was I clicked on edit on, on schedule repeat here, um, and that reloaded that loaded into into the schedule information here the 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 rule that I previously created. But now I'm going to change this so that lunch hour goes until 15 hours, zero minutes, which is 3 p.m. And I'm going to click on add time. And now it's changed it to uh, cover three hours. And I'm going to click on save here, the bottom. And now you can see that our our allow slash dot rule now covers uh, noon to 3 p.m., which not noon to 1 p.m. as it says in the time range. But uh, so that means that we should be able to access slash dot now um, because if we go to firewall and click on rules and see click on the land tab here, um, the rule hasn't changed and it, and and as we hover over it we can see the employee lunch hour covers uh noon to to uh 3 p.m here so let's go back and we'll click on slash dot and lo and behold we can access slash dot now so that proves that the that the uh scheduling option works so let me just go back here to schedules and we'll go to we'll edit this and we'll go back and we'll we'll change this back to noon to 1 p.m. so and we'll do add time save this and that changes back to the way it was before so now we should be we should not be able to access slash dot anymore so let's just Confirm that that's the case. And as you can see, uh, Firefox caches the page. So that's, you know, don't be, don't be fooled by that. We should, the, we, oh, actually, did we reload, reload the rule? Let's just check to see if we, we may need to re, reload the rule. No, it doesn't look like we do. So it looks like this is just a case of Firefox caching the page. Yep, it doesn't. It looks like I re, I reloaded it again, and this time it's hanging up. So it looks like our rule is in place. Okay, well that covers uh, scheduling. I will probably make some more videos. I think I will make one more video covering the other advanced options for rules. But uh, this covers scheduling. So uh, if you found this video helpful, consider going to my website pfsenseSetup.com and find more information about setting up pfsense.